All right, Lacey, what's up next? All right, so over this last weekend, exciting weekend here at PLU, we had the baseball team and the softball team were both home this weekend, and it was senior day for both those teams. We'll start with baseball. Um, Baseball played a non-conference game, which is kind of confusing to me. Basketball doesn't do it this way, but for some reason there's a non-conference game at the end of the the season. Mm -hmm. Um, Anyways, they played California Lutheran, who was at the time coming into the series nationally ranked. They were 12th in the nation. Um, I'm sure they slid down after they got a whooping from the Lutes, Mm. who won the series, um, won three games, all three games of the series this weekend. And the Lutes will advance to the Northwest Conference Tournament, which will take place on the 21st to the 23rd. And Christian, I'm not sure where it's being played. Do you know? Uh, Does anyone know? I believe it's... At Linfield? It's at Linfield or Willamette. I will double check. I don't know. DJ, can you double check that right yep, now? I'll get on it. Stats. Um, Let's go stats. <laughs> yeah. I. I it's not here, and it should have been here, but yeah. we, will, we will talk about that. Well, at least that. it's not at Whitworth. We'll take that because yeah. Whitworth's a drive. Yeah, that's a travel. Um, Sidebar, you mentioned that Kalu was ranked 12th. Yep. Uh, Dylan Foreman and I got a good talking to about sportsmanship on the broadcast because we kind of said the same thing. They were ranked 12th entering... And then all of a sudden, we kind of knew that they weren't going to be ranked 12th anymore. <laughs> and the Kalu parents didn't take kindly to that. And they talked to what? our bosses oh and were like, goodness. hey, remember oh. sportsmanship. So that's well, that if, was if quite funny. It was like we were, POU was ranked 12th at one point in the season. And then they went and lost games and they weren't. So that's kind of how. That's just stats. That's how, sports that's is how not, it works. Sports <laughs> is not about how touchy-feely everybody can be. It's about winners and losers. And PLU was a winner this weekend, and Kalu was a loser. So That's I'm right. sorry, Kalu parents. <laughs> you guys just didn't have it this weekend. Well, I'd love to hear the language you use, because I know Dylan can get pretty snippy on that. He was, he was a little <laughs> sn- he was, He's like, that's how it works. They lost. They're not going to be that anymore. Yeah. Fair but, enough. All right. Well, guys, heading into the Northwest Conference Tournament, which is very exciting, who from PLU is going to do some damage there? So I've been covering this team all season long for GoLutes.com. Uh, throughout the beginning of the season, they were ranked inside the top 25 as high as 12th, like I mentioned. Um, I think that going into this tournament, POU is the best team in this tournament, and I'm not just saying that. I, offensively, they have six players batting above 300 on the year. Uh, they have six players with multiple home runs. Uh, the lowest on base percentage of the people who get regular playing time is 265. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is at 300 and above, and there are six guys at 400 and above. So these guys are just killing it offensively, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, They had one bad weekend, and it cost them hosting the Northwest Conference Tournament. Uh, They went down to Willamette and got swept for no good reason. Just an off weekend. (laughs) They got swept by Willamette. Okay, and the big reason why is because Landon Packard and Corey Vanderstay didn't hit. In that series against Willamette, Packard went 1 for 13 with two strikeouts, one run batted in and one walk. Vanderstay went 2 for 13, 2 for 13, one strikeout, and three runs batted in. On the season, Landon Packard has hit 400. Okay, he has 10 doubles, 4 triples, 5 home runs, 42 runs batted in, 13 walks, 16 strikeouts. He is slugging 644. That's a heck of a stat line. Unreal. Wow. Unreal, right? Vanderstay is hitting 350. He has 8 doubles, 5 home runs, 28 runs batted in, 18 walks, 13 strikeouts. He's slugging 547. So, they had that bad weekend down in Willamette, but it was because these two guys just didn't hit the baseball. Right. That's the whole reason. So, so on the offensive end, if the team wants a trophy and the automatic big bid into regional play, Packard and Vanderstay need to hit the ball. Do they make it in if they don't win? They have a good chance at an at-large bid okay. because of what they did to Kalu this weekend. Good. All right, so you mentioned the offense. Let's talk a little bit about defensively and pitching. What do we got there? The bullpen has kind of been the biggest question mark of this whole entire team. Uh the team is good when Jacob Gleichman, Chad Gideon, and Cole Johnson, the team starters, get into the sixth inning. If they get in in or past the sixth inning, this team can figure it out from there. Uh, if, if those guys get bounced earlier in the game, it's up in the air. It's it's a real question mark. Um, if the starters pitcher, starting pitchers throw strikes and uh, pitch to contacts to get out and go deep in games, this team should be fine. Should Sweet. be fine. Yes. Sweet. Well, we're excited to... Keep keep up with them. Um, Christian, is there any news going on for you? I mean, the, they won't be at PLU, so I know you're bummed you're not working. But <laughs> I will be working. I'll be at the Northwest 
tournament to four golf in putting scores. Okay. Ooh. Well, and we're writing recaps. And where can we, where can we catch the Northwest Golf Tournament? I'll tell you when I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Right. There's lots of exciting stuff going on here at PLU. Um, I think I correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure all spring sports teams are going into postseason of some sort. That's impressive. Um, which is very impressive. Um, 